Sitting at 17 under Pearson Cootie, 36 hole leader. Couple early bogeys tried to erase those on the fifth for Eagle. And not quite, but great to kind of, you know, get moving back in the right direction. He's got a lot of golf still to play. This will sell the nerves, like you said, George. Yeah, you got to give him full credit, too. It'd be easy to kind of lose focus after those couple of early bogeys. And yeah, he didn't learn much from the tee shot of Basardis. That came up short and to the right. Uh, this one is very, very high and just left of the flag. Great line. Wow, Graham, this is interesting. Well, one, they stretched it out another 20 yards, but given that whole location on that front part, it's a very small target. Cootie. Fills it up on nine. That could get him going right there. Three birdies, three bogeys on that opening nine. But he's a little fast right now. He's walking a little bit fast. I think it's time for him just to slow down. And if you want to say, enjoy the walk a little bit. This one's Go. headed to the Go. left. Oh, he catches that front part of the green. This should be good. Oh, look what he found. Beautiful wow. there, just below the hole now. A very makeable eagle putt. No, two, three. Drips it in, what an eagle. And that is exactly what he need. All of a sudden now he finds himself one back and right back in this golf tournament. Yeah, no doubt, I've just been <laughs> that. Uh, that ball is going to chase that well down the right hand side and now he is going to have he is going to have a short iron left in here to this par five. What a tee shot there by Pearson. You know, if you get it far enough deep, there is some down behind it. There's a little bit of backstop. But if anything, I'd like yeah, to be just a little bit yeah. short. That's where Cootie is. Nice shot. Position here, especially the way he's stroking the golf ball. Well, it looked like a pretty good pot. I think he misread it because uh, we had a pretty good view from behind and he started it right on his line. Of course, the issue there now, just taking care of business. All right. It's feasted on the backside. Par five, Eagle yeah, at 11, 15 as a birdie. Yeah, I, I like this play. You know, you got to make sure you leave yourself with the comfortable yardage here. This is going to be just fine, kind of up that right side. Should run out a little bit, turning back to the center of the fairway. And that ball got pushed down the fairway nicely. He's yeah. had a fantastic vantage point from that spot. 128. Cootie throws it past the pin. Will it come back? Cootie for birdie. What a call, <laughs> Billy Ray. Exactly. Man, rips what, in the right book. side. Yep. Hitting it thin. You can see here just perfect contact in the middle of the putter and drips it in. I think this is another big hurdle that you have to get over. I mean, before you win a golf tournament. Oh, I actually hit it dead straight. Bounce through it. It's up the left hand side. He's playing for a cut, right. said he hit a dead straight. Like right down. It's going to be yeah. below his feet Ball as well. Right and like I said, it's a really small area. If he can get this ball just on that front part of this green, that would be good. He's pulled right. this off that side no. hill line. Uh, with a little bit of wind. Scoots all the way to the back. Very the fortunate green. there. Pretty impressive stuff. Yeah, good stuff there. And this comes down the hill. It's from 48 turn feet. Turn a little bit back to his. Yeah, not that bad of pace there, but he's still got a good maybe three and a half, four feet left now. Nicely done. That's impressive stuff today from Pearson Cootie. I think Billy Ray said it great. I think 
he learned a lot about himself today. Make the eagle at, at, at 11, get things going back. What did you learn about Pearson Coup today after that slow start? Uh, that I've been here before. I've had, whether it's amateur golf, uh, early as part of my professional career, uh, I've had leads before. I've started slow. I've come back four. I've also gotten out ahead. And uh, I knew that the course was going to get a lot firmer. It drastically got harder. Uh, and just keep the ball in front of me, give myself opportunities to make putts, and see where I end up to give myself a good chance uh, to go low on Sunday. Pearson, thanks for your time, and good luck tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching the PJ Tour on YouTube. For more, click here, and to subscribe, click here.